Alright, so at this point, we're just doing the basic removal of uh, all the screws and everything. I'm going to take the wheel off. Uh, there's tons of videos out there, so I don't want to just have an entire video showing this. I'm going to get to the point where um, we're removing the at least the controller and the battery compartments. So if you don't know how to remove the wheel and all that other stuff, um, there's a bunch of other videos out there. I think I have some on my channel. Um, should be quick, but it's really easy. Just remove every single screw you see. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> All right, let's move forward. All right, so now at this point, we've pretty much got the wheel off and we're gonna continue moving forward here and uh, removing the foot pads and the bumpers. And then once we do that, we'll be able to slide the, um, take the rest of the screws off and slide out the battery and the uh, controller compartments. Okay, now we're right at the end here. Um, we're removing the final bumper. We're gonna remove the final screws holding the uh, the controller case onto the rails. And once we do that, everything will come apart and we're pretty much done with the disassembly. All right, we're finally here. Tires um, been changed. Um, if you don't know how to do that, go watch one of my other videos. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, what I have here is the entire, all the pieces of the one wheel laid out in the way that they're going to be reassembled. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and swap out um, the original rails and we're going to put in the beast wheel rails and we're going to reassemble. Now take note what's happening here. I've put all the screws in on the bottom, but I've made a mistake. Um, I'm gonna realize this here in a moment when I flip the, the rails over and try to install the foot pads, things aren't gonna line up. So before you put the foot pads and you know tighten all the screws on the bottom of the rails, um, don't completely tighten them. Keep them fairly loose because you're gonna need to shift things around, otherwise things won't line up exactly. So um, put definitely put the screws in place. It's gonna help you align everything, but don't tighten them because you're gonna need to, you know, shift things a little bit here and there. And uh, if they're tight, you're not gonna be able to do that. So keep it loose. Then once all the screws are in place, go back and tighten everything. I made that mistake, and uh, hopefully you don't do it. it. It'll cost you some time. So what I'm doing at this point is uh, 
I've made the mistake again of tightening all the screws way too early and so uh, I'm going back and loosening up the bumper so I can shift the foot pad around and get everything all the holes lined up um, if you find things aren't lining up just go ahead and you know loosen the bolts and go ahead and you know try to get all of the bolts in place without tightening all of them once everything's lined up and the bolts actually fit in place you can you know screw it in lightly then go ahead and retighten everything And now we're basically we're putting the tire back on. Um, I had a little bit of trouble here because the the beast wheel rails are a little bit longer, so it seems like the cables are a little bit stretched and they don't line exactly how they used to. So it's a little bit of work to shift uh, and align the holes on the uh, the axle that you know you're connecting to the rails. But it, it all ultimately fits. It's just a little bit of work. It's it's a little bit different. Um, I wasn't used to it. Um, but yeah, just, you know, take your time, uh, make sure you don't tear the cables or anything, just, you know, be gentle with it and uh, line the holes up and screw everything in. So we're at the end here. I'm gonna basically uh, get ready to inflate the tire. I wanna clean off the um, the cable um, casing cover. Um, but what, what's gonna happen here is the the cables are a little different now because the the wires are stretched out a little bit differently with the beast wheels. And I noticed that the casing was a little bit harder to go on. It it, it will go on ultimately here. You'll see. But it was a little bit um, it was just a little different. There was a little bit of resistance, uh, but no concerns there. Just you know, take your time. Don't be too rough, and you know, screw everything back together. All right, we're finally here. This beauty. The aesthetics are really pleasing. Um, there's a good amount of space between the rails and the tire and the foot pads in the tire. You can actually probably fit about another good half inch to three quarters of an inch uh, larger diameter diameter tire. Anyways, um, I'm glad I stuck it out and uh, man, can't wait to take the thing for a test ride. Let's go.